it is practically all good what we are doing uh, in uh, most of the diseases like the mokshana uh, actually chashtuka prama in the chapter uh, in sushrit samhita chigilsa sana acharya both acharya sushruta and vakvida in ashtanga sangraha and ashtanga he has given both have given a very important very much important for the rekta mokshana actually the references are like uh, uh, you can refer both uh, you know, sushri samhita in uh, sutra sana uh, 13 chapter is jaloka vachana that is leech therapy and 14 chapter uh, shonita varnaniya and uh, in these chapters they have given uh, much of the uh, rakta mokshana uh, types and all and uh, specifically siraveda is explained in shari prasana okay of uh, sushri samhita and uh, siraveda uh, vidhi in the uh, 27th chapter of sutra sana of uh, ashtanga hridaya and also in ashtanga sangraha it is explained paryaya uh, sutra rakta mokshana ashra vishrati shonita mokshana rakta nirharana rakta shravana uh generally how, where, where we will do rakta mokshana so uh, which are the uh, main uh, diseases indicated so first of all we will try all the according to the doshas we will try the treatments like right like sheetha prayoga sushna prayoga sheetushna snigdha ruksha we will try all these but it is not getting uh, treated so in such case we have to uh, conclude that it is the uh it is mainly the dosha is in the rakta okay rakta prakopaja vyadhi so in such conditions we have to uh, do the rakta mokshana and uh, so uh, uh, as i told uh, like uh, in pg uh, it is one of the contradictory factor like uh, rakta is a chadurta dosha or not that concept is there like uh, sushruta have given equal importance to rakta uh, like a dosha so it is considered as a fourth dosha in some uh, it is like uh, it has been explained as fourth dosha but uh, it is actually a dadu only so dadu dushta dadu nirharana is the main aim of rakta mokshana and it is told in importance of uh, siraveda or uh, rakta mokshana is told as it is just like a vasti how it is in a kaya chikitsa siraveda chikitsa ardham so half of the treatment comes under this siraveda or rakta mokshana in general also chalya tandre prakitita yada pranihita samik vasti kaya chikitsa so just like uh, uh, in kashi uh, gusa how the vasti is uh, important like that siraveda or rakta mokshana is important in shalya tantra so before going to rakta mokshana just to, uh, uh, because in uh, shonita varnini chapter much importance is explained uh, in more importance is given to rakta even uh, full throughout the uh, the full samhita he has given important like in explaining a uh, any rogas or diseases like in that also he has uh, given the extra heading uh, like vada pitta kapha rakta jor shonita variety also he has explained so in this uh, in this 14th chapter shonita varnaniya chapter it is explained as a uh, char uh, this uh, features of uh, rakta is given as you all know the ashraya shri bhava of uh, rakta and pitta is there and panja paudigata is given no other do, uh, dadus are given this panch bodhigada explanation so here that bistrada dravada raga spantanam laguda tada bhumyadi nam guna bhumyadi panch bodhika guna sar explain bistrada is a guna of prithvi dravada is a jala raga the color is because of agni sentana uh, uh, sorry spantana the next is mistake is that because of uh, that movement spantana pulsation is because of vayu and that laguda that is because of akasha so that is about the panchi paudigada of rakta and importance of uh, rakta is explained in the last of that chapter dehasya rudram moolam rudrere rudre neva daryati tasmad yatnat samraksha raktam jeeva idi sthiti so blood is a cause the uh, dehasya rudram moolam root cause of the body itself is blood and it is only supporting or maintaining uh, the body ஒன்ஸ் 
because life it is life itself then uh, these are the vitiating factors uh, of rakta like uh, any pitta sleshmala uh, any ahara uh, viharas will be resulting in a uh, rakta pragobaja uh, and uh, the, these are the lakshanas how the different doshas will be uh, affecting uh, affecting or uh, vitiating the rakta vada if it is uh, vitiated uh, it, it, the rakta will be having aruna penila krishna parusha shava tanu vishada askandana will be there in if it is vitiated the rakta uh, is vitiated by vada if it is pitta pita neela harita shava varnata vishada not like uh, and even not liked by pipilika then if it is kapha ishad pandu gairi godaka varna snigta sheetha bahala pichila mamsa peshi varna then dondaja lakshanas involving both doshas and sannipadaja sarva dosha like that it, it will show the vitiation of uh, rakta in because of the bar, uh, doshas charaga even charaga have explained uh, the rakta rakta gopaja reasons reason for a uh, or vitiating factors of rakta like ahara ushna tishna dushta madhya lavana kshara amla and kadu dravya then vihara uh, ashrama abhigada charti veka all this will be shade rakta and then manasika krodha shoga bhaya then kala jap sharad rudu already you know that is a kala of pitta pragopa and rakta dushti so these are the factors which is vishading rakta and resulting in rakta pragopa cha vyadis then rakta mokshna kala uh, three kalas are explained vibre varsha so if in, in case of varsha rudu we should uh, where there is no uh, cloud cloud at that time we have to do then uh, grishma kale little bit sheetalam at, at that time we have to do like evening time and all then hemanta kale madhyahna these are the three important uh, time for uh, doing rakta mokshna coming to the types so it is class rakta mokshna we have we can classify as sa shastra and as ashastra so uh, sa shastra means what we are using some uh, sharp instruments you already you know you have uh, learned what is shastra and yantra okay that uh, shastras prachana and siraveda so in that prachana we are using scalpel or uh, uh, like uh, blades surgical blades will be using uh, or sometimes needle also then uh, siraveda in that also two three methods are there that will be explained ashastra these are like yantra yantra vida you can tell uh, jaloka alabu shrinka gedi all these are the ashastra krita rakta mokshna shastra visravanam dividam prachanam siravedam cha then based on vishesha of dosha how we have to use like according to the dosha predominance what we should use dravada pitta kapha dushtam shonidam yada sankyam shringa jalaga alabu so vada for shringa pitta for uh, pitta dushti there is pitta uh, jalaga jalaga for pitta dushti and alabu for kapha dushti then these all are the uh, have compiled from ashtanga sangra hridaya and all uh, so in that uh, uh, mainly the top uh, whatever explained is like uh, avagada if there is deep seated uh, like uh, we have to do uh, jaloka avastana so that it is in the it is re, uh, when the, the leeches are sucking it is uh, removing that uh, one hand width uh, area that uh, action is uh, done so avagada deep deep seated then pindida if it is solidified and uh, like in uh, some other, uh, like skin diseases and all and localized also in that case we will do prachanam then sarva sharira rakta dushti so large quantity of blood should be removed so in that way siraveda is effect uh, is used then tuktida vishetir tuktida uh, in that case shringa alabu gadi yendra can be used prachane pindide vasyat avagade jaloga sah tukste alabu gadi uh, shringam sorry shringam uh, sireva vyapage asruchi so that is the four uh, uh, how this is explained in uh, both um, both vakpada uh, and uh, shruta acharya have explained in the, uh, the same method then in uh, like extend also prachanena ekadeshasam at all localized in some area gratidam jala janma bihi jala janma actually mistake is there sorry for that jala janma bihi that is jaloka 
gratitam gratitam means so that is very hard hardness is that gratitam jala janma bihi harit shringa adi bihi shringa uh, any uh, skin like uh, suptam any loss of sensation that is uh, it is uh, in the skin level suptam asrad vyabi all uh, there is visitation of the whole blood vessels in that area or all over the body siraveda is the best then uh, based of selection uh, how we can understand that it is a, uh, uh, it can be used for vada pitta and kapha how they determined like that it is because of the quality of the things like ushnam samadhuram snigdha gavam ashringam so the horn of the cow is used uh, so as it is ushnam samadhuram and snigdha we can use it in case of vada then uh, sheetha uh we as it is uh, in uh, sheetha divasam maduram jalo jaloka and vari sambo it is in the water so in that case it is a uh, 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 sheetha and sweet so it is it can be used in pitta then alabu kadugam ruksham tikshnam cha parikirtitam tasmat leshmo basrishtam so alabu it is a kaduka ruksha and tikshna quality as that so it is uh, it can be used for uh kapaja okay next coming to uh just a minute uh, sorry for the disturbance so next coming to jaloka vajarna or jaloka i, have, I hope you have seen jalokas No. so first uh, introduction jaloka avasana it's one among the rakta mokshana classified under ashastra gruta rakta mokshana it is done uh, mainly in pitta vishedit conditions and sushuda have highlighted rakta as both dosha it is a noble painless method so it can be used even in a uh, bala like pediatric conditions and to the uh, geriatric old age also we can use and sukumara also in the as it is causing a uh, little Uh, means a painless method it is can be used for sukumara also so what is the definition of jaloka jala masa mayuridi jalayuka or jala masa moga idi jalauka saha so where it is a house house which is a um, where life is water is a life is the that is means jalayuka ayu ayu life is itself is water so it is called jalayuka jalaugas means which is habitated you know because of that it is called jalauka types of jalauka that is important in our exam point of view based on the nature jalauka uh, are classified into savisha and nirvisha with six, six type in each group nirvisha uh, jalauka we have to use nirvisha jalauka for jalauka avacharnam names are kapila pingala shankumukhi mushika uh, pundrika mukhi savarika then savisham krishna karpura alagarta indrayuta samudrika and gochendra these are the poisonous varieties so you have to um, each features you have to uh, just uh, try to by heart that shlokas so just i'm uh, not uh, uh, i will be sharing in that notes uh, just you have you can see kapila you can see one small line is uh, on the sides manashila the color like a manashila at the sides the dorsal surface is slimy and color like mudka green gram color so that is kapila shankamukhi blackish red like uh, that liver like that of liver and uh, it is it will suck very fast then sharp hand and have have a uh, sharp and long suckers then pundarika mukhi it is also like greenish black in color and mouth resembles a full blown lotus so only that pundarika mukhi name comes in mushika uh, like uh, that of a rat and foul smell comes from the body savarika uh, marked with the impressions like glossy uh, lotus made uh, leaves then measures 18 angula i think maximum uh, length of leeches like med- medicinal leeches are called as 18 angula it is uh, used in a lower animals mainly in animals we will be using otherwise 5 to 6 uh, angula only uh, maximum we will use then pingala reddish or a reddish brown color round in shape and moves fast that is these are the uh, nirvishya jalokas we will be using 
then collection how to collect uh, so should i have explained like we how to uh, piece um, cut by a piece of wet uh, leather in tan streams and all uh, where there is lotus flowers and otherwise some fresh fresh uh, meat of dead animals fish uh, or like that anything we how to uh, uh, put in the uh, any uh, lake and all and get the get it bite on that or otherwise sometimes uh, they will do like a uh, cows and all a uh, small cut in the uh, legs and all they will keep and uh, make it uh, keep in it inside for what a little bit like legs should be immersed in water at that time the leeches will come and attract okay so we have to uh, catch it and uh, we have to remove uh, using a sign the eleven application and collect that then we have to preserve it after collecting it should be like in a new earthen pot we have to um, like uh, we have to cover with a small uh, uh, cloth or then a small um, opening like uh, for the air circulation it should be there nowadays aquarium like only that uh, special uh, uh, they have made like a uh, aquarium only uh, then uh, feeding uh, should uh, with the leaves of lotus plant shaiwala and even dried meats valura and also given then uh, every third day we have to change according to bakpada it is every 5 days then um, uh, about the gunas of jaloga sheetha snigda sleshna guna and madura somewhat snig uh, snig actually uh, then uh, these are born in water lives in cold places and so on so only we are using especially for the pitta then specialty of the uh, jaloga actually it is told that it uh, sucks only uh, dushta rakta first okay that is actually one simile is there like uh, uh, the hansa hansa pakshi who uh, which drinks only pure milk when we give it one Uh, mixed with the water okay in like that uh, it is uh, jaloka will first set uh, the dushta rakta so once it is it start it is told that it is when it start sucking uh, a pure blood will get like irritation uh, or any itching or pain at that time uh, we should stop by applying sainthava like that reference is other then indication you know parama sukumaro so even It, it is preferred for very young very old timid weak even ladies and rich and delicate persons it is indicated then rubadiyam bala stavira peeru durbala nari sukumarana uh, all this we can use uh, jaloka vacharana then coming to the purva karma uh, the uh, how we have to, so this is a mostly asked question uh, jaloka vacharana vidhi so we, the, we have to explain this uh, purva karma pradhana karma and paschat karma uh, then purva karma so first uh, purva karma both the pre- uh, preparation for the leech and preparation of the patient so in that preparation of the leech we have to uh, uh, leech it should be bathed in haridra water uh, then washed with the clear water and kept for 45 minutes in the fresh water and then it will and it can be used for therapy then uh, preparation of the part the skin should be rubbed with the earthen powder or mrutika or pricked with a needle we are will be practically using prick with a needle these are the things should be uh, to be ready uh, gloves we should wear glove otherwise it will bite our own hands then uh, turmeric for uh, making it active uh, then uh all these are the uh, preparation items then why we need to prepare because uh, sometimes there may be uh, the digestive tract may be having some bacteria uh, which may cause wound infection in later so we uh, we have to keep it for a little bit for a, uh, in haridra uh then these are the procedures how we will be doing uh in some uh, some text it is given like sarshapa rajni kalka we have to Uh, just a smear. Then uh, we have to make it in a uh, turmeric water. So like that uh, we can do. Then uh, we have to make the uh, jaloga bite. And uh, according to the uh, disease, uh, we can use even uh, like a four, five, and all. Sometimes may be needed because some um, uh, leeches will be sucking less only. So according to the size of the leech, we have to uh, make it bite. then leeches should be covered fully covered with a white uh, piece of white wet cloth uh, like mostly we will uh, use a small thin layer of cotton or a gauze piece 
so uh, once it is grasping that it will uh, become like ashu kuravat ananam that is important ashu kuravat just like it will even it is sucking or it is getting uh, that uh, elevated and at the mouth end so how hoes hoof like ashu kuravat ananam it will make and lifts its neck up. so that should be understood that it is uh, it is catching or biting and it should be covered with a moist cloth and retained so this is uh, how we have will do this is a bite side then band after that in case there any bleeding is there or the patient have to um, like go for go after walking on living so we can bandage otherwise sometimes no bleeding will be there just we have to apply a little pressure and uh, we have to uh just to leave like that it is enough this is, you can see the uh, bite mark it will pose a white uh, y shaped okay then apply other leeches if necessary then monitor leeches until they fill with the blood okay uh then uh, usually the leeches fall off by itself mostly um because of the uh, capacity of the each leech or sometimes uh, so in case uh, they are having pure uh if you are uh, this word so uh, there will be to the kandu uh, pure uh, blood it is sacking means it will result in to the kandu pradur bhava so in that case uh, we have to use a, um, a small sign the wall uh, and touch the in the mouth near the mouth means it will leak next coming to the paschat karma so the patient if uh, patient uh, is allowed to maintain the position uh, till the bleeding stops we have to just give a pressure application then uh, if there is any uh, bleeding is that excess we can uh, use the rectus tamponu bias or a durvas or a like uh, we can apply at that site then a uh, sega should be done like uh, using trifala kashaya after cessation so that it will help in healing then bandage with the durvadigrita or like madugrita like that anything we can use then in case of uh, paschat karma for jaloga so what do you need the paste of tandula kanda oh, like a uh, broken rice we should apply so that uh, to make it uh, uh then a mixture of a uh, uh, like because of uh, as it is a uh, tired of sucking so we have to uh, apply over that and a uh, mixture of thyla and sainta lavana is smeared on its mouth then it will help uh, with of the thumb and index finger Uh, we have to knead okay then uh, we have to make it vomit all the um, blood then it is uh, this is continued until the signs of proper vomit is achieved so uh, we have to make it uh, then I, uh, we have to like this uh, the mouth should be uh, uh, made to dip in a uh, turmeric powder and make it will start vomiting so once it is uh, fully vomited means it will be very active just a minute sorry shall we continue yeah uh so vamana we have to make the leash uh, vomit so if it is uh, too much vomiting it will become even uh, very weak and may die also so we have to uh, pr- the pressure we apply should be careful and even uh, sometimes it will become lethargic after leaving in water so that uh, is that means uh, and sometimes it will be uh, it is still uh, some quantity of uh, whole blood is uh, still there in that case it is called indramada or rectamada the uh, this is how we'll be uh, making it it vomit and a uh, collection of the blood is done and after that uh, transferred to the um, fresh water so this is how uh, in the case of varicose vein and all how we used to do uh, then mode of action like a thrombolytic action is there for leech that saliva has having thrombolytic action then anti inflammatory then uh, the immuno stimulating action is that raises nutrition of the tissues uh, strengthens tissue immunity so locally uh, the, the because of the venous stasis the stasis um, stasis will be removed uh, 
and uh, it will uh, cause anti inflammatory vasodilatory and uh, analgesic property and systemically like uh, like uh, some relation with the skin dermo visceral connections are there in that case also we will uh, get res- some results so it can be uh, considered as a uh, because of these uh, just to go through that uh, no need of uh, going to detail just uh, you know herudin is the anticoagulant uh, then some of the antimicrobial agents are that like um, uh, theromycin then lipolytic activity uh, substances like lipase so many active active contents are there in the saliva okay then common disorders where leeches are successfully used like kushta you know on the skin diseases then viserpa rakta pitta pitaka uh, then kulma dadru shitra rakta uh, pada rakta ulcers dvt hematoma fil- filariasis cellulitis abscess alopecia vishenda adimanta shirodpada siro harsha nasa shofa and ashofa akshipaga timara etc bujo aat bande so these are the some of the conditions where we am audible yeah doctor okay. uh so so some of the diseases these are some of the examples where uh, indication of uh, leeches is given like in shira shira or uh, sorry sira sira uh, sira agunjana purana like any siragata shulam or thrombophlebitis or in case of varicose vein all this condition or uh, any um, like dvt conditions also we can use then pitta jagranti these are the indications where it was given in all each uh, vyadi so that you will be learning in accordingly in the diseases just i thought i'll share that Uh, examples also like in pitta jarshas uh, like pitta jarshas and even in uh, thrombosed pile mass also we will be using uh, so that is a uh, rare case only but still um, we will be using jaloka which there is not it is one condition uh, where the, we, we have used uh, leech so that is how uh, like thrombosed externally it will be hard to feel that is a uh, thrombosed pile mass in that case we can use uh, Uh, leech then you know, as you i think you will be knowing like in mukadushika it is like a, i think a mukadushika in that condition uh, sometimes in uh, there is condition where kafaja also we can use so already there is rakt dushti in that um, so we, we can use uh, we have we, we will get a good result in mukadushika also so all these inflamed piles help uh, like we said from pimples eczema all this condition very effective uh, only the leech application is then uh, even uh, don't have much uh, side effects also though in case of any uh, poisonous uh, or uh, any other um, mistakes from the our side only it can result in uh, so even it uh, don't require any antibiotic or in, any anti inflammatory or antiviral drugs along with that even in rural areas we can use it so even uh, uh, those who are not fit for surgery also we can uh, use uh, so even uh, in uh, uh, jaloka avjarna it is told that in those diseases which are uh, having that importance in uh, jaloka avjarna uh, the physician who knows all the all about uh, leech habitat method of collection variety storage and are successful okay so that is just uh, about a uh, jaloka avjarna next come into prachana so what do you know uh, about prachana it is like a we have to just a small incision we should be doing so before that we have to tie in a tourniquet uh, just five to seven ampulla about the side and uh, we should not do in uh, any uh, like snayu sandhya sthiyan marma places we should not do 
then uh, before even uh, it is as a purva karma or a register before using other processes like ala pushranka and all we will use the prachana also and we have to uh, start from the lower part if you are doing in the legs and all means we have to first incise in the near the ankle then we have to come uh, uh, above no? below from below upwards uh, and it should not be very deep just we have to just a sharp uh, we have to uh, do the incisions it should be straight line uh, and two lines should not touch such lines not joining together that is ritu asankirna okay padayet marma sira snayu sandhi so in, uh, without injuring and causing any injury to marma sira snayu sandhi etc and sushmam samam anavagadam anutsan sorry anavagadam anutsanna mashu so we have to just a fast fast fastness should be there we have to remove the hand fast just a one incision and uh, next like that okay Uh, then uh, in case of uh, we can compare it as modified pdct as uh, uh, pressure blood pressure measure instruments all this can be uh, like uh, uh, we can correlate it as a modified panchakarma sorry prachana uh, then prachana karma you can see uh, how the scalpel is used for uh, the, this is actually surgical blade attached to a pb handle so uh, starting from the below more, uh, we have to move upward like that incision should be there so that the uh, blood flow is not uh, uh, causing any obstruction okay to the view um, of the mainly we are doing it in the case of uh, so skin diseases or any heart mass is there in that and coming to shrinka shrinka avacharana so it is a uh, mainly the reference is about horn of the cow there is one broad end is there one narrow end is there and uh, um, at the one side we have to at a, uh, like a basti we can uh, draw blood using a basti yantra also like that it is uh, given then uh, best to use a vada dushita rakta then kafena dushtam we have we should not use in case of kapha dushtam uh, vishated uh, kapha we should not use uh, because of the thickness of the uh, blood uh, it won't come okay in case of vada and pitta we can use the uh, shrinka then alabu alabu it is made of uh, like a, a bottle guard it is uh, then it is made hollow round from inside if it is, there is congestion of uh-huh. blood in localized Mami area then Mami. we can use the alabu so that in that should not be used in case of uh, pitta uh, because of the kadu uh, or tikshna guna in that so it is it can be used for vada and kapha uh then uh, first of us we have to do prachana on on the side of lesion then alabu or gedi both are, are having the similar application uh but here alabu uh, it should be applied horizontally then uh, we have to uh, light a lamp okay so that a vacuum is created uh, this is how in gedi uh, similar only uh, the light will consume all the oxygen so there is a uh, or the air the, so there is vacuum created and that is applied in any um, hard masses and all okay so that is about but very little references are there in our, uh, the classical text our brihad rays so um, uh, very less only nowadays practice but more, i think uh, we can search in net about the thesis and all in like shrinka vajarna mandal thesis are, have been conducted uh, that you can search then uh, shushira veda shira veda shushuda Uh, have explained like uh, seven inches siras and that also according to the uh, like in sharira sthana we have uh, ha- he has explained what the pitaja kapha and rakta each 175 each uh, as a then what the what is sira arun it is kal- uh, color is aruna pitaja sira neela and ushna kapha uh, sira gauri so uh, rakta sira rohini uh, then pitta sira used uh, is mainly used for vedana rakta sira is deeply deeply situated and it is avedya sira and kapha sira is also not for not used for vedana karma uh, then which are the instruments used you have already you have been uh, learned in uh, shastra karma shastra karma adhyaya uh, that is uh, like prihi uh, mukha shastra and kudarika shastra that as a mainly practically we are doing uh, 
Rishi Mukha and even Suji also as we are using needle. It can be correlated as Suji also. So uh, just go through that Rishi Mukha and Kudarika uh, Shastra. And about Sira, uh, Vedya and Avedya Sira, uh, just go through that. No need of, uh, in exam point of view, it is not important. Just for your knowledge, I have just quoted that. Then indication for Rekta Mokshana. Uh, you know, all the, uh, already uh, Jalo Kavajarna indications all comes under, like Mukabhaga, then uh, Pushta, Vidridi, Shvitra, Pama, Pada Rekta, Guru Ghatrata, then Shiro Rucha. Indra Lutta, Sarvanga Shofa, Sheena, Pandu, Arsha, Udara, and Garbini. So, actually, these uh, topics are uh, like scattered in both the uh, Sutra Sana and Shari Sana. You have to just compile it and learn. Sarvanga Shofa, Sheena, uh, Chamla Bojan Nimitaha. Any diseases which is resulting in Amla Bojan Nimitha. And Pandu Roka, Arsha, uh, Arsha Sudari, Shoshi, un, uh, Garbini. And just Shwedavaha, Sarvanga Shofa, and Shwedavaha. So even, uh, and in Shari Rasana, he has explained more, like in Balas, Tavira, all these uh, uh, already, you know, these all will be uh, not at all interested in uh, like uh, Rekta Mokshna as a, even that that will be, uh, even uh, uh, Vakvada has explained like, Natu Una Shodasha Adida Saptadi. So the age limit is given like 16 years and uh, between 16 and 70 only, you, you have to do a rectum motion. Others, otherwise, uh, there will be in some complications like that. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, the other like uh, Shardi, Vamita, Virikta, all the Panchakarmas, just after doing, they will be obviously there will be Vada Kopa. Okay. Or uh, Dadukshaya will be there. In that case, we should not do. And uh, like any uh, mainly uh, kasa shwasa shosha pravrta jwara akshebaga mainly all the vada vada predominant diseases or just because of the dadukshaya which is resulting in a vada koba in that conditions we should not do with the mokshana that are the contraindications uh, actually indications he has explained like in a, according to the site I have recorded only uh, some of the examples. Just you need, uh, uh, don't need, just understand and go. Only if uh, uh, you can, you are able to learn means you can by heart everything. Otherwise, you just or five examples uh, you can learn. Like in Gridresi, four angula below and above Janus in the Jalodara, four angula uh, from Nabi on left side. Then upper Smara, uh, the mid, in uh, middle of the Hanus and the one vein is there. In that we can do. Then Unmada in between Shanka, Keshanda, Ura, Apanga, Lelada, so many sites are given. Then Adimanda, in case of Adimanda, Apanga uh, or Lelada, we can do. Uh, Karna Roga above the ear, Nasa Roga above the Nasa. Uh, then Vagvada, uh, mostly according to the disease, nearby disease it is explained, except any Marma point. Then contraindication indication already I have explained that is loka. Then Shkala, Kala already generally ex, uh, have explained in that Naiva Adi Shidi Nadhushne Na Pravadi Na Chapri. Because uh, if we are doing in all these uh, extreme conditions, it will result in some other complications. Like uh, either it will increase the bleeding or it will have an uh, absence of bleeding. So like that. Naiva Adishiri Nadhushne Na Pravadi Na Chapri. Sirana Vyadram Kari Maroti Vakatash. Uh, never in a healthy person like that it is told then procedure the press nick the swing the mother get out of ship with the nakam driver prior man number the one them you are complete the one Yada kalam ubastapi asinam sidamba. So uh, we have to do purva karmas, right? Snik this swinam. So generally we'll be doing abhinga and nadi swida. So otherwise we can even uh, go for a snehapana full course of uh, procedure like uh, till virajna. We have we can do and priyadi karma. Then after that we can go for siraveda. Like that also we can do. Otherwise uh, ab uh, abhinga and ushma swida. Then, uh, and on that day, we have to give Drava Praya Mannam Bukta Vandam. Okay, that is Yavagu. Yavagu, it is actually Tila Yavagu is given. In uh, Dalhana has explained, like Tila Yavagu is to be given. 
and uh, um, we have to make the patient sit or uh, stand according to the position of the Sura Veda or a lying position also. In case of hand at all, we will use a lying position. And if a uh, hand uh, means a uh, leg means, we will be making him stand or uh, just uh, uh, like a uh, um, dropping uh, like um, uh, feeling it uh, free like that we can do uh, so that uh, any on uh, the which is a vein should be vein should be visible properly okay so like that uh, we have to tie a tourniquet so that uh, the um, vein is coming uh, visible then we have to uh, I, before that procedure we have to do all the investigation because uh, uh, all the HP personally should be noted then Bleeding time, clothing time, then platelet count, HIV or any rollout, any all these um, HBSAG, HIV and all, we have to rule out. Then Pradhana Karma according to the uh, disease or according to the position, like uh, Mamsala issue, if the uh, it is Mamsala Resha, like in calf region and all, Yava Matram, Yava Matram, we have to uh, use the Shastra only up to Yava Matram or Ardha Yava Matram of uh, using Rehi Mukha. Then Asthana Mupari, if uh, we are doing our Asti or any body prominence we are doing, in that Kutarika Shastra is used and Ardha Yava Matra should be. Okay. Then maximum amount, how much of lead should be let? Maximum one prista. Uh, even uh, in some uh, low capacity patients and all Satubha life less and all, we can use medium. So that comes uh, by its own. So according to that, we will measure and tell half pressa. Mostly we will be using like 250, 300 ml only. Mostly we will do maximum. We won't do nowadays because the patient will get fainted and all that complications can come. So uh, mostly we will do as a 250 around. Okay. Uh, then so like that uh, it is given. One pressa is the maximum amount uh, given. Uh, then medium he, uh, and Hina, Hina Madhyama and Hina explained. Then uh, we should actually, if, if we leave one, some little vitiated blood Sorry, it's, uh, left also is not a problem because blood, uh, blood is the already know the importance of blood. So even little bit of blood is remaining as vitiated also, no problem. We can do uh, Shamana Chikusa for that. So we have to. Uh, control it to the capacity of the patient. Okay. These are the materials used for Siraveda. Actually, it is my thesis process only. So, in that, we have used like a, a number 12 surgical blade was uh, uh, fixed to a artery forceps. I mean, tip of the artery forceps. It was fixed using a, a tape. There's a um, paper tape only we were using. Then uh, we, we have, we can. Um, make it as a Kutaharika Shastra. Actually, Kutaharika Shastra is somewhat similar to an axe only, that shape. But we, we can use it as a curved uh, blade also, we, it will be used. So, I think you have already know how we have to tap. Okay, that using the uh, middle finger and thumb, thumb, we have to tap. So, that as a projectile motion, the blade will be uh, coming and uh, it will be collected. So just remember that it is number 12 a surgical plate fixed on an artery force. It is compared to the Kutarika Shastra explained by Acharya. Otherwise, we can use number 18 needle that is a needle in that we can compare it as a Rishi Mukha Shastra or Suji also. Uh, like that, we can consider in that also, uh, like in very close condition and all, we can use in this. Then any like other uh, painful diseases like so that, in the, like Ababa, Hukam and all, we will be doing Sira Veda. So in that case, butterfly cannula is, is enough, like in hand and all means, but, butterfly uh, cal pain set or butterfly cannula, anything will be okay. Okay. So these are the methods. Just go through that. Kutarika, Prihi, Mukashastra, that cal pain set. Then samyak with the lakshana. So samyak gatva yada rectum. Swayameva avatishtade. Actually, it should be uh, stopping by itself. Swayameva avatishtade. Then lag, uh, even after the procedure, they should be having a lightness of the body. Then vedana shanti. See, or, or sudden or acute effect will be the like a vedana shanti. And vyadi vega parikshaya. Um, whichever disease is there, that will be reducing. Okay. Then mano prasadam. Uh, the um, lightness of the mind also. Then 
good with this ravit the lakshana there will be at that side there will be swelling taha raga paga so at that stage because of the either it can be because of our fault in the use of uh, instrument or shastra otherwise maybe because of it is not suited condition like that in that case like functioning in aveda siddha sira or the flow of uh, blood is inadequate or the position was not good in that case there may be show for taha raga and paga and even uh, like complications can occur if it is done on durdina durvidha sheeda vaad vaadiyor asvinnam bukta matri skande so in this condition what happens there will be shonida will be clotting okay skandatva shonidam nas shravati alpam va shravati so either it can be there will be no uh, no uh, blood coming or it can be little bit okay so like that complications can occur in some occasions like madha murcha samartana pada min mutra sankinam nidra bi bhuta pidanam ridam na astra pravarti so in these conditions also if we do procedure also chakta moksha also blood won't come in asrava dosha so in uh, that only result in the uh, complications of shofa daha raga paga and vedana then adhisrav what happens if this uh, uh, the blood letting is more atyushni adhiswinne so if these all conditions can result in excess flow atyushnam if the climate is very uh, hot then adhiswinne adhividde atner the person who have done is not uh, good or properly it is not handled in ignorant okay in that in that condition there will be excess of flow and that can what happens headache blindness ati mandam timiram a uh, loss of uh, depletion like uh, uh, even complications like taduk shayam akshepakam daham paksha khadam all this condition hika shwasa kasa pandu roga even it can result in death okay that is adisrava dosha uh, then adi with the lakshana already i told this is the lakshanas then uh, so after the procedure already the blood is lost and there will be dadukshaya so we have to give nadhi nadhi ushna shidam lagu deepaniyam rekte apanide so after a rekta mokshna we have to give nadhi shidam ushna not very hot and not very cold food should be given lagu deepaniyam uh, tada shariram uh, so the, so that uh, the digestive activity uh, is maintained okay so um, that should be given and even uh, the rect uh, we should um, uh, give food which is not causing any rectal prabhavana okay then puna vidha so once if it is not correctly done or uh, any problem is that even we can do in the same evening okay ashuddham shaved buya sayahna sayahna mapri abiva so either we can do in the same evening if we have do, done in the um in morning we can do in the same evening or in even the next day uh, but otherwise if more already uh, blood is taken but still the visheshan is still there we can do after 15th day okay 15th day that also after uh, mehana we have to do then um, we should not attempt an excess flow of blood then durvidha we can manage using some lepas and red soft in mustard oil and mixed with the salt we, uh, we can use durvidha in arti vidha so many drugs are given you just go through that not of uh, much importance uh, like uh, practically it is important but uh, uh, usually uh, we won't get that much complications okay we have to take care of that investigations and all means are uh, no uh, we can just manage with the himambu prayer uh, prachalanam uh, then uh, taila piju and tight bandage is enough Uh, then as uh, the rectus tampano bhaya that is actually asked for three mark question and all we can use that as a uh, like four methods are given chatur vidam yadeyadati rudirasya nivaranam sandanam skandanam cheva pajanam dahanam tada pranam kashaya sandatte rectum skande dehimam tada sampaje basma daha sankoje de sira so these are the methods of controlling the blood flow or preventing the bleeding excess bleeding uh, sandana if any uh, wound is there it should be joined that joining of the edges so for that uh, what should be used like that it is explained then skandana promoting clothing clothing 
then paanch and like uh, cooking or uh, like proper um, healing of that then dahana dahana any cauterization if excess bleeding is there and all in our patients generally will do uh, cauterization no so like that so kashaya sandati ranah kashaya sandati the closing of the or joining of the wounds is used using kashaya so we are using shalanam right first a cold application uh, like them sande dehim first we will apply cold then kashaya shalanam then uh, pajanam using basma any powders of uh, some drugs which is having uh, properties like that and then daha sankojede in cauterize so if uh, the blood uh, that same shloka it is explained in different way like if there is um it does not clot then promotion union first uh, we have to may join the edges then uh, we have to use the uh, the all the methods uh, already explained then a uh, modern what is vini puncture the term is used phlebotomy vini puncture and all we can be used in modern but usually that is uh, main not for a therapeutic um, purpose only for a diagnostic purpose only modern they are using So five to ml, uh, five to twenty-five ml of blood needed for the blood test mostly obtained. Uh. Then in some cases like polycythemia and all, uh, like uh, some procedures are you know, hemochromatosis in primary and secondary polycythemia. Therapeutic phlebotomy is uh, preferred for reducing iron stores in hematochromatosis patients. Okay, so all these conditions nowadays are uh, the blood removal is done. uh like in ke, in case we can correlate it is it as a more, like ayurveda in pre hoda and or siraveda should be done in the inner side of warm up who in the middle uh, like near the kurpara sandhi so like that only modern people we are uh, they are draining the blood uh, like example in primary polycythemia and then in the agrudodara also is right in the right hand so in uh, in case of alcoholic cir- uh, cirrhosis of liver also this uh, blood letting is modern also they are doing then benefits of ple- phlebotomy like uh, uh, what, how they are explaining is uh, that uh, the blood cells are extracted from the bone marrow that's um, um, bone marrow is getting stimulated to make new blood cells okay so that physiological mechanism is that then uh, it it also helps in iron uh, transporting uh, mechanism that uh, like uh, hemoglobin uh, to make uh, hemoglobin more hemoglobin or the oxygen capacity or carrying capacity of the hemoglobin will be increased then uh, uh, during treatment the iron stores are depleted for new rbc production and the pa- uh, patient iron level is reduced so in the such conditions so uh, that phlebotomy is explained uh, Uh, even in liver diseases, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and all, uh, phlebotomy is given. So it removes the RBC from the blood. Uh, then it will stimulate the bone marrow to produce uh, more RBC. So newer cells are uh, uh, then iron stores are depleted as the iron is used to produce uh, new RBC. So like that, uh, it is that. So that is all about uh, uh, the phlebotomy. then uh, so many researches are there just uh, uh, as you are all uges just go through that i will be sharing in that so even in our vidrasi siraveda is done so you know um, how the mode of action it is indicated in rakta vrita pitta samsargaja madaja uh, with uh, vidrasi it is indicated then um, mainly there will be avarna that avarna or shrodo rodha is removed Uh, then it can be, but it should not be uh, done in case of typical vad vadajya gridrasi or dadukshe jenna vadajya gridrasi. It should not be done. Then, uh, like in uh, most of the like in conjunctivitis or any uh, any eye disease also, the leech therapy and all are very good. Even siraveda in adi mandha and all are done. So glaucoma in case of glaucoma or adi mandha. Uh, due to improper drainage or excessive accumulation or ex- um, obstructed drainage of aqueous humor the uh, it is resulting so in that in case of ziraveda maybe that the fluid part is getting drained okay so it reduces the intravascular pressure and volume so that's all about ziraveda uh, uh, and generally about rectum like, mokshana so it is a mostly it is it don't need any other uh, like any other big instruments and also it is a simple procedure and can be practiced even in a op level 
uh, all the instruments are now modified like uh, not the uh, horn and all are not used even uh, cupping therapy and all are nowadays uh, similar having similar uh, results only so it can be used as a preventive medicine uh, uh, in preventive measure also in case of any like acute diseases and it can be uh, alternative to blood transfusion also then it is having that effect in the recta avarana pitta samsargaja gridrasi having efficacy in anti manda or any other uh, eye diseases also so that is all about uh, recta mokshana so mainly we have to concentrate on la the recta mokshana mahatva i told and sira with the jiggles sar the even it is have told as a half of the jiggles of shalya tantra and the types you already have explained then uh, methods of jaloka vajaranam uh, then recta mokshana upadrava and chikitsa then importance methods of sira vedha and yogya ayogya that indication and contraindications then a uh, site okay that site uh, just uh, some examples you can according to the disease where are the sites of sira vedha then dushta vidya uh, that actually i will share in notes then types of savishan nirvishan jalokash uh, all these i have i think almost i have covered uh, so any doubt is there you can clear now the mokshan ha so just i will remind uh, so whenever we need like a shidushna shidushna snigdha ruksha all these procedures we are uh, um, not getting any relief in that condition we have to understand that it is a rakta prakopacha vyadi and in that condition we will be doing rakta mokshana so it is important uh, like a, it is a half the uh, chikitsa in uh, shelly tendra just like how it is in the vasti is in kai chikitsa siravida chikitsa at the shelly tendra pratiyitah yada pranihitah samyak vasti kai chikitsa so importance of uh, rakta it is like a, you know, it is even compared as a dosha or even uh, like fourth dosha it is explained but that is given that much importance um, because of the uh visitation all these uh, doshas are acting through rakta visitation so even panchabodhika of rakta is given uh, then dehasya rudra dehasya rudra moolam rudre neva dariti tasmat yetena samriksha raktam jeeva idasthiti importance of the rakta that uh, shloka you need to by heart then visiting factors and all just go through that uh, then coming to the kalam in that also three kalas are explained uh, mainly uh, that is uh, when there is no cloud in the varsha ritu and when there is a uh, not that much uh, um, hot or very uh, little bit cold is there in a uh, grishma kalam and in hemanda madhyana all these three kalas are explained in types sashastram and ashastram are given prachana i told it is using the blade or the scalpel we can use in a prachana shastra then kudarika vihi muka or any suchi we can use in case of siraveda ashastram ashastram jalauga alabu shringa and gedi these are the types of uh, rakta mokshanam then based on dosha avada shringa pitta jalauga kapha alabu then uh, coming to the uh, according to the stage avagade avagada avagade jalogasa prachanam pinditam tuksam alabu gadi shringam and siravya vyapage as vyapage asruji siravida all these are the according to the different or we can uh, as a ekadeshatam localized we can use prachanam griditam uh, jalauka then shringam and uh, in case of shringa alabu and all in case of suptam or any supti like loss of sensation is that and anga vyapakam siravida then according to the quality of these all things like uh, how the quality is uh, in the shringa like gavan shringa is the best one and that that is having I mean, ushna and madhura stick the property so it is uh, used for vata uh, then sheetha uh or it is uh, as jaloga is madura sheetha and in vari sambhava it is having in water it is lives in water in because of that 
uh, that shidalata is there so it will be act against the pitta uh, vyadis then alabu it will be kaduga ruksha tikshna so we have we can use in kapha jap then about jaloga uh jaloga vajarna as you all know it is one among the rakta mokshana ashastra to the rakta mokshana the, this uh, definition or a nirukti of the uh, jaloka should be learned like a uh, jala masa mayuridi jalayuka uh, then jala masa oga idi jalauga saha so oga oga means uh, the, it is habituated in water then ayu the life itself is, is water so that two definition should be learned then types this should be by hearted like kapila pingala shankamukhi moshika uh, pundarika mukhi savarika then krishna karbura alagarda indrayuda samudrika gorjana artha gochandana artha savisha jaloka so these are the examples uh, where we, uh, of uh, how it is done then collection you know uh, mostly cattle are used then uh, it should the water should be um, water should be uh, changed in every 3 days and uh, the pot even should be changed in 7th days then 5 uh, days after uh, that vakuta has explained 5 days uh, then coming to the speciality of uh, this, that dushta rakta is a uh, uh, removed first uh, so like uh, that simile is given like hans hans pakshi how it is uh, drink only pure milk and it is mixed with with the when it is mixed with water okay then indicated persons like paramasukumara or uh, like even bala vridha nirbadya stavira viru durpala nari sukum uh, all this we can use uh, jaloka vajarna then according to the uh, procedure uh, any procedure if is asked uh, we have to uh, purva uh, add as a purva karma pradana karma and pashchat karma here we can add as uh, like purva karma preparation of both preparation of patient preparation of uh, leech so first is preparation of leech in thermic water we have to make it bath and uh, keep it little bit for in a fresh water for uh, 45 minutes and all then uh, part preparation uh, mostly prick prick with a needle these are the these are the things needed then why uh, preparation of uh, leech uh, is mainly to prevent any wound infection and septicemia then uh, we have to apply a or thin clothes piece or a white um, clothes cloth to uh, except for the mouth so like that we have to cover it once it is start just before, um, after the uh, when it is sucking it should it will be seen as ashukuravad ananam that uh, uh, hose hoof like like a uh, shape of the mouth will be there while it is uh, uh, suck, starting sucking then leeches uh, uh, this is a suck mark uh, it is in mukha uh, in mukha doshika case uh, then um, if any um, like pure blood it is uh, having or it is sucking means uh, so the kandu uh, will be started or uh, like uh, is a little bit pricking like pain will be there at that time we have to remove it using a sign tava then paschat karma in that paschat karma was also both for the patient and to the leech so first patient we have to maintain him in that position uh, so that he don't have any uh, problem or any uh, or that bleeding is arrested then anything is that durvasura is or is some cold application or trifala kashaya or uh, like that or we can just to apply Uh, turmeric with the uh, pressure that is enough then a bandage in case of uh, bleeding is there um, after bleeding stops we have we can use a durvadi uh, grita then uh, paschat karma for jaloga uh, for jaloga also we need to make it vomit that is uh, in case of it is not properly vomited it is called indra mada this is how we will be collecting and uh, measuring the blood taken out uh then in case of varicose vein and all uh, will be doing then mode of action all the anti an analgesic and the inflammatory then increasing blood flow inhibition of the platelet function anti coagulant effect anti microbial effect lipolytic uh, substances so these all are the, in the saliva of the uh, uh, leeches okay then mostly common diseases as i already told these all are the diseases we, we are even using in a 
thrombosdepile mass, hard masses, it will be uh, very uh, useful in case, uh, case of arches even. Then pimples, uh, you know, uh, with, uh, there, in this condition, there is with uh, Vada and in, along with that recta importance, okay, and because of that treatment is uh, given as uh, bloodletting. Then coming to prachana, like incisions we are will be putting, uh, that is about a prachana, then uh, this is like a vacuum suction, it is acting in the case of uh, Srinka and Alabu, uh, that before that uh, we will be using a uh, candle to light inside so that the air is uh, used up oxygen is used up in so that is the procedure nowadays it is used in case of cupping therapy and all uh, then siraveda uh, but very less only explanation is there in uh, uh, classical test so in siraveda siraveda shushuda has explained all the sira which are away this sira and all then uh, shastras are uh, Vrihi Mukha Shastra, Kodarika Shastra and Suchi. Then these are the Avedya Sirasa, how we should be avoiding that uh, Sirasa. Then indication for Rekta Mokshna, all the diseases, uh, mainly Sarvanga Shofa, Sheena, Amla Boja Nimittaha, then Pandurogi, Arsha Udara. Uh, um, so uh, here you can see Arsha Zidha, but only in case of composed palmas we will be doing. Okay. Uh, that is exception is given explained in the Siddhi Sasthana. Okay, that are the contraindications uh, uh, in the age also 16 below 16 we should not do above 70 we should not do. Then indications according to the site indications are given. So many other diseases also Vada Shonita uh, all are given. Uh, just go through that. I will share you in the notes. Then contraindications already explained. Then. According to the Kala, Nadi Shide, Natushne, Napavade, Nashavrede. So, in all these conditions, we should avoid uh, uh, Siravedam. Then, procedure the, we have to prepare the vision with a Shodhana Snehanam. Either we can go for uh, Abhinga only in case of localized diseases. Otherwise, if there is a severe condition, is there, we can go for Abhinga uh, internal. Uh, sneha Pana, then Abhinka, Ushmasveda, then Virijna, and after that we can go for um, Siraveda. Like that also we can do. So on that day we should give that uh, local Abhinka and this Sneha uh, Svedana, Pashmasveda, or Nadi Sveda we can give. Then Yavagu uh, should be administered, have a Yavagu, and tonicate should be tied. Before that we have to do all the investigation related to the blood. Uh, because we are uh, that all the instruments will be having contact, so we have to uh, do all the investigation to rule out any uh, communicable diseases. Then, Pradhana Karma, we have to the depth of the Siraveda it is told as Yava Matra and Ardha Yava Matra. Then, amount of blood letting like it maximum it is one presta, but usually we will do like a uh, uh, 250 to 300 ml, we will be collecting. This is how we used to do, like uh, in using number 12 surgical blade and an artery forcep. Like uh, it is made as a similar to Kudarika Shastra. Uh, then Brihi Mukha Shastra, number 18 uh, needle is used and even scalp inset is used. Samik with the lakshana, uh, there is a Swayameva Avatishtade and there will be a Lagava, uh, Vedana Shandi, Vyadi Vega Parikshayam and Manuprasadam. And if there is a Durvidda uh, Lakshanam, Shofa, Daha, Raga, and Paga, and these are the complications as because of the uh, all the because we didn't do the correct procedure or in the correct time like that, some complications can occur. Then Adhistrava also according to that. In that, Sirobhidaba, Antya, Adadukshaya, Trishna, Hikka, Shwasa, Pandu, and even Marana can occur. Um, that um, so we have to take care of the procedures okay then uh, we have after that also we have to take care we, we should give some brimhana aharas or uh, not uh, uh, nadi snigdha uh, sorry nadi ushnam nadi shidam like that lagu deepaniya ahara should be given and uh, which is not rakta prakobaja so like that we have to and puna when we should be doing next sitting okay in that we, are, we can do even uh, if the Siraveda is very the quantity of blood let is very uh, low means we can 
go for uh, another sitting in the evening itself okay otherwise next day also we can do after that we have if the um, blood letting uh, quantity of the blood was uh, more means we can go for e uh, even after 15 days that to after snehana okay snehapana also then management accordingly we have to manage uh, like uh, lepa durvita in case of durvita lepa of some drugs are given that i will explain in the notes then ati with ati with the bleeding is more means some himambu rakshalanam taila piju and that type bandage should be then otherwise if it is not stopping means rectus stamba no upayas are given that is important chaturvida mededati rudrasya nivaranam sandanam skandanam cheva pajanam dahanam tada so you using kashaya sandanam then uh, using cold application sandanam then uh, sampajanam using basma pajanam then daha for a sangojana of the or a cauterization that that should be used modern whether terms are venal puncture and phlebotomy in as a treatment also nowadays it is used in case of polycythemia and all that you can just go through that so that is uh, all about ectomoxna anything is that yes anapur पैसे ही ज्यादा बड्डी पड़ी